FM. Lexington. WLAP Total Information News. This is Rich Gimmel. In a surprise move yesterday, the Lexington City Commission unanimously rejected a proposal calling for the establishment of a rumor control officer for the city of Lexington. The ordinance proposed last week by City Commissioner Tom Underwood supposedly would have concentrated its efforts on low-income groups and University of Kentucky students. When asked why the commission rejected the proposal, Underwood yesterday said the ordinance was really a joke on the news media. Underwood added that he and teammates Ray Boggs and Paul Felder had fun, as he put it, reading George Orwell's book 1984 last week. However, Majority Commissioner Ray Boggs said it wasn't really a joke. He disagreed with Underwood when asked about the reason for the rejection of the ordinance. Well, it seemed to be a, a general opinion of the public that this was not needed here at this time. I understand that a lot of the larger cities have done this where they have experienced rioting and so forth, but fortunately we have uh, not had that situation here, and maybe it's a bit premature. City Commissioner Ray Boggs. The state of Illinois has gone to court to challenge Kentucky's claim to Dog Island in the Ohio River near Smithland, Kentucky. The island is to be removed for construction of twin 1,200-foot locks two miles upstream from Smithland. Illinois Attorney General William Scott says the island once was an Illinois peninsula and its southern boundary is the state line. Kentucky has jurisdiction over the Ohio River to the low water mark on the Illinois side. The suit asks that Illinois be granted state income tax control over any construction activity on the island. Around the world at this hour, the Apollo 15 astronauts are asleep as their spacecraft heads home on a perfect course. U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Joseph Sisko has left Tel Aviv for Washington. And a British soldier has been wounded by guerrilla gunfire in Belfast. W-L-A-P. Just ahead of more music and Jason Williams for Bill Crisp. Cloudy this morning, decreasing cloudiness this afternoon. It should be fair tonight and tomorrow. The low this morning in the low 60s. Today's high in the mid-70s. The low tonight near 60. Tomorrow's high expected to be 80 degrees. At Bluegrass Field, 66 degrees and partly cloudy. This is Rich Gimmel, WLAP Total Information News. And that's what's happening today, August 6, 1971. Good morning, Richard. Boo. How's your gronk? It hasn't, uh, it hasn't gotten up yet. Eh? <laughs> <laughs>